it's always a nice thing to wake up and find your bear bag is still where you left it the night before. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tree, right over the trail. <laughs> Good morning and happy Mother's Day to my mom and to myself. I, uh, I slept pretty good last night. I could hear the traffic, um, but my earplugs helped mute that and make it seem really far away. Every uh, couple hours though, I would wake up and look at the, at the stars and the sky to see if I could see the um, northern lights, but I didn't see them. Um, and I think I started to get damp um, from dew, so I ended up putting my tarp back down and that dried things up for me again. So I was glad to know that uh, the tarp actually does work even against dew. Um, but I had the train go by a few times last night. That was pretty loud and that always woke me up. Um, but I did a Google search on why do trains blow their horns at night? And um, I never thought about it before. It's never been this close. But they blow their horns at night to get air and animals off the tracks sometimes. So I um, didn't complain or um, I wasn't bothered by it kind of once I realized it could have been saving a deer's life or something like that. So um, At one point I could have sworn a dog barked like right over here behind me. Um, but I shined my flashlight and didn't see it. So I might have dreamt it. <laughs> um, or it was a coyote. Or a hunting dog, who knows? Probably got startled by seeing me here. So it's about 7.30. I'm gonna get packed up and try to hit the trail by 8.30. Um, I'm not too far from town where I can, the trail goes right by a gas station. So I'll stop and maybe get some coffee there. Okay. Um, I, haven't heard any updates yet from my sister about my uh, Whaley, but um, I know they were thinking it's going to be anytime soon. They did have a priest reader for last rites last night, so my poppy is coming in from Bolivia. Uh, he got on a plane at 3 a.m. this morning to, to go and be able to say goodbye to his mother. So my thoughts and my prayers are with everybody. And again, just praying for a smooth transition. I'm sorry, this um, you know trip for people watching it might have been kind of a bummer, but um, it's been healing for me to just be allowed to talk about it, be allowed to feel, be allowed to cry when I feel like crying, and um, so again, these videos are for me and for my family and. Uh, Anyway, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening. There's the railroad tracks. sign on that barn or shed whatever it is. I heard there's a llama farm right up here that is a hostel so I think that's it. right there. Right after the train tracks is the boardwalk. 
I'm glad I'm not walking through this marshy wet stuff. comes out at the truck stop. Back to civilization and litter. I'm seeing nothing but a bathroom. So I left the truck stop and then went to the right past the Exxon to the turn here. And then we go underneath the overpass. <clears throat> If I hadn't checked gut hooks or out, whatever it's called, I would not have been totally sure which way to go coming out of there. There isn't a blaze until that might be It's not the one that I saw. Alright, so gotta go traffic. To the fields. They look just like the fields that when I'm driving along the highway and I see pastures and hills, I always like imagine myself walking through them. Now I'm doing it. It's so pretty. Thank you, Appalachian Trail for your diversity. Oh, what a view. And best cows. I decided to sit here before I exit this field and have a uh, second breakfast and uh, add a second pair of socks to see if that will help with the sliding. But those are the mountains that I came over yesterday. All right, we're coming to the edge of the pasture. And actually, if you don't mind cows, you probably could hammock right here. Along here, there's a couple of trees, not too tall of grass. Uh, looks like there's some on the inside of the fence too. All right, let's see if I can hold this and go up and over. Let's switch hands. Whoop! Mind the fingers. Put 
definitely could camp here. A little flat spot for a tent, a couple of flat spots, and definitely some hammock trees. And the field is right there. This would have been a great place to camp. Dry, but I was, my last night's campsite was dry too. I couldn't have made it this far yesterday, but a lot less traffic noise. So for others watching in their planting stages, push on, pass down to the top of the field. Alright, so now I did just spend I don't know, probably 30, 40 minutes in the field. I talked to my sister, got an update on Whaley and She's still holding on. Mother hand is fine. I think she's waiting for her sand to arrive. Uh, I shed a few tears in the pasture. And now I'm ready to walk on. I was a through hiker. <laughs> I would be exactly one quarter of the way from Georgia to Maine. But I'm not quite a through hiker. I miss the Smokies still. <laughs> Although I also have Maryland, so I'll have to do the math. I don't know if I'm completed a quarter or not. I will let you guys know when I get home and do the math. I've covered almost all of my hot spots on this foot. I don't know what it is about my right foot. My left foot is fine. I just put a little bit of body glide and it lasts for hours. My right foot is a hot mess. Three and a half miles to go and I am giving my feet a promised cool off and boy is it cold. <laughs> this is a pretty little spot though. There's a big deer over there. I know you can't see it. I'll try to get a different angle. This gorgeous old tree. There's a bunch of old trees in here. This is really amazing. I've got less than a mile left on my trip. I am. It's all downhill. Just turned off my music so I can get back to just soaking in the nature sounds. I had to put the music on for a while to override the pain in my feet. But see, look at this, amazing. Uh, 
I'll be going with my thoughts again from this week in my backpack. Uh, in case I don't have time to do a closing out video when I get to the car. Again, this is dedicated to Willie. Te quiero mucho. I'll see you again someday. beautiful spot to be exiting the trail. There's a road right there that I can see and that's where I turn to go to the hostel where my car is. And this is just beautiful. I've been going slow, savoring every minute.